right, you heard operators. Now we're moving on to part two with the APSX upgraded bucking. Of course, I got it for the AEG, and I'm going to be using my 10-incher uh, uh, Amoba Series M4. And I right now I have a Reaps A plus uh, bucking on here. It does pretty well with the gun. I shoot well over 200 feet with it. Um, we're going to try the APSX uh, red bucking and see how it does. But um, I guess the biggest difference, like I said before, when I used the original APSX bucking, it was a little soft and I felt like it tore a little bit way too easily and I didn't think it. And um, when I used 28 gram BBs, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it tore up the bucking. So with the upgraded ones, it feels pretty close like the reaps in, in material. So I suspect you'll be able to handle 28 right. grams. So this is the accuracy test for the REAPS 60 degree um, bucking. Um, I'm using obviously the AM008 and it's a little bit special. It's using the Ares M4 metal pop-up unit and with the REAPS 60 degree bucking I don't have to dial in hop-up that because it's just long enough that it spins the 32 gram BB just right. If you try to use any lower weight, you're just gonna have BBs flying up straightward. So with that said, um, with the Elite Force 32 gram BB, it's shooting 325 FPS. So it'll translate about 410 FPS on a 20 gram BB. First attempt got two and a quarter, two and a half inch second one is three and a quarter inch and the third one's a two two and a quarter inch and I feel pretty confident that you'll probably shoot less than three inches at 50 feet with this type of bucking and the range you're going to get is at max 200 feet you see uh, pretty much your range degrade after 175 feet with the BB so good enough you know to play with and uh, let's head on to see what the APSX results is all right, so after shooting a couple of few rounds with the REAPS bucking, we're going to do the APS-X uh, bucking. And of course, what you see is I also changed out to uh, the Leap Force M4 uh, carry handle just to get more windage adjustments. So makes it look kind of interesting, uh, a MOBA M4, but hey, whatever, uh, to make this gun shoot straight. But anyway, um, I suspect that the APS-X will... Uh, upgrade bucking will do pretty well. Um, looking at the teeth, let me see if I can grab it. So looking at the teeth, it's not quite as deep as uh, as the reaps bucking. So I figured that I could work with the hop up adjustment with 28 gram BBs with the with the APSX. So let's take it out to the accuracy range and see what it does. All right, so this is the testing portion of FPS for the APSX upgraded bucking. Real 9.4, 298.8, real 1.5. This is the APSX upgraded red bucking. Um, my very first, this is shot at 50 feet, and we're using the Elite Force 28 gram BB, and it clocked in at 305 FPS. Um, do note that the AM008 is shooting roughly 410 FPS on 20 gram BBs. Um, therefore, there's a big significant loss on the FPS with using this particular bucking. And I'll probably explain why a little bit later on my recap. Um, my first attempt, I shot three and a quarter of an inch. Uh, I think I was just trying to warm up with the rifle, um, trying to get used to it. But second attempt did a lot better, two and three quarters of an inch. And the last third attempt felt really good to me. I definitely felt like the accuracy was there and I shot one and three quarters of an inch and this is all at 50 feet. So I'll get head up to the recap and tell you why the FPS is such a big difference, but at least my theory, but let's go to the recap and 
and uh, talk about the results. All right, so this is the recap portion. Um, this is, first up is my usual Reaps 60 degree bucking, and I usually use it with an Aries M4 metal hop-up unit. With that setup, I don't have to dial up uh, any hop-up because the length of the teeth of the hop-up, I mean the bucking and the hop-up nub, perfectly allows me to use 32 gram BBs without hop-up. And it gives me a good range, you know, it goes out to 200 feet, but I would say 175 is, is probably the, uh, uh, the maximum I try and press and hit a target. And the good part about using the reaps is it seems to hold its uh, jewels uh, in relation to the BB better than actually the APSX. Now looking at the APSX, have you seen the results? It could shoot down to one and three quarters at 50 feet with a 28 gram BB. So it could do an even lighter BB and be more accurate than, than the reap 60 degree. However, you do pay for it on the FPS level. With a 28 gram, it should be shooting 340 FPS with, uh, with my AM008. I haven't changed a spring, so a lot of it is I attribute to the stiffness of the bucking. It feels like really a 70 degree bucking, so it's a little bit stiffer, so I'm losing a little bit of FPS. And also the range, unfortunately, is shorter than the reaps. It's, I would say the range on, on the APSX is only 180 80 feet. And however, it shoots pretty straight, and given uh that you could dial in hop up for the APSX. So what it means is you could also use lighter BBs like 25 and maybe possibly 25 gram, I mean 20 gram BBs, but most likely you guys are not going to slip lower than 25. Now you guys are going to have to choose um, what kind of BB best fits your situation. Um, I think the Reap 60 degree is good if you decide to use 32 gram BBs on milsim events. I mean, only certain milsim events allow it. So you're kind of very limited. Um, so it's a very special setup. Unless you modify the metal uh, Aries M4 metal hop up unit, the nub, um, like shave it down a little bit so it doesn't have as much hop, then you could use lower gram BBs. That's your choice if you guys want to take that route. Or you could use the APSX bucking, but even though you get accuracy, you're losing a little bit of range in FPS. So choose what you guys uh, best suits your gameplay. Um, to me, you know, I think they're both good buckings. Um, like I said, APS, what, APSX wins by accuracy at the cost of range and jewels. Versus the Reeds bucking, you get the range. You could definitely fly big BBs, uh, heavy BBs, and get still get good accuracy. So take your pick, guys. Have fun.